Oh, did it again. I know what's happening. I'm pushing it with my... You're pushing it? Okay. Are you pushing it when you go to take a picture? You're also pushing it? No, the it's my thing. right hand. Hello, this is not a spring chick and the hot news today. I know you're seeing me rubbing my tummy. It's because I just had a really good lunch. Is that hot news? Well, it, it, it sure warms me up. Oh, yes, the Teen Choice Awards just happened last night. And, well, let's just say there's a, well, to Selena Gomez really do what we thought she did. And did Taylor Swift really wear that outfit? Well, if you're not cur if you're curious what I'm talking about, I guess you didn't see the Teen Choice Awards, but I guess you can catch it on Ring Re Rerun. I don't know. I'm still look look. I my tongue has gone to sleep since I had my lunch. Oh, okay. We'll be stop being silly. Anyway, we're gonna bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. I mean, the Republicans. They're collapsing under the weight of the Obama administration and under the weight of the, uh, oh, actually, they're leading in all the polls. And Nancy Pelosi is in danger of losing her house seat in San Francisco. And she's begging people in the Democratic Party to give her, give her funds because uh, Democrats are being outgunned everywhere in the United States now. And it's all because they're fed up. Okay, they don't blame the Republicans for nothing getting done. They, like the one guy said, uh, we have turned out budgets for three straight years in the House. Mm -hmm. We, the Republicans in the Senate, turn out budgets. Harry Reid has not brought a budget up in the center since uh, Senate and since Obama became president, in violation of the Constitution that says they must have a budget. Oh, and the Dark Knight, what beats all box off records? I know, isn't that amazing? It opened in a thousand theaters more than did. Then did the Avengers, made two million dollars less than its midnight showings, and by the end of the weekend, it had made two million dollars more than the Avengers did. Uh, we, I, I, can, I, I, can I ask, we'll have BS to pull. BS, in every sold out theater that we went to, were they selling tickets? To th and were the theaters next to empty? Yeah. Well, here's, here's the part that I'm always curious about is there's what they call is the overall box office, yeah. and there's the, what is it, the average per theater listing. But if you have it at, the, at a thousand more theaters, and Avengers was sold out, and Dark Knight was sold out, shouldn't the numbers and, be further apart than that? Yeah, well, yeah, basically it means that the, uh, they're not drawing as many per theater as the Avengers did, and they blame that strictly on the fact it was a 3D, 2D movie. But the problem is, is that if you only made two million dollars more in a thousand more theaters, it was a bomb. Oh, that's true because it did, was only in 2D. Even the IMAX screen was only in 2D. Yeah. But okay, here was the other thing about the, is, oh wait a minute, wasn't there a shooter in Colorado? Yeah, but we think that what happened was the water company. Warner Brothers would never take advantage of a situation to explain why the movie's not doing as well as it should have. With that many more theaters and a film that was anticipated, it should have broken every record under the universe and still, okay, it's just like the next James, the, uh, the last James Bond movie cost $125 million more to make than the previous James Bond movie and made $75 million less. That's called you losing money. Mm -hmm. They spent $250 to $300 million on this Batman movie and put it in more theaters and it actually made less money. That's a bomb. It's, it's just, uh, I, I, I'm from the industry, folks, and basically, Harry L. Jack L. Warner would have said, uh, he said, you put it in 4,700 theaters, the last movie was in 3,200 theaters, that's 1,500 theaters more, and you only made $2 million more than you made on the last movie? Mm -hmm. He said, you wasted my money. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> But expect your movie theater experience to change forever. Oh, God. Okay, no more costumes to these movies. Okay. This is a th okay. Cult movies are what Batman, Avengers, um, you know the cartoons things where the little kids come dressed up as the characters. Those are not going to be allowed anymore because here's one that they're not trying to let known much, which I knew because I actually know I read news pieces. The man came in a came in a, in a 
you know, like a police officer style military outfit, and he had a Joker hairpiece. He had a Joker's hair on. He was looking for Batman to come stop him. Mm -hmm. It was all about, he was playing the Joker. He was a super villain, and he wanted a superhero to come stop him. Which meant if Batman would have came, no one would have ever been killed. Batman didn't come because there is no Batman. And Ram seeks patience until Blackberry Tim Riley. It's not going to happen. Ram is going under. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when it's going under because... And there are definitely going to be people that miss oh, their Blackberry. And people live in Hollywood, live with Blackberries. Why? I, my cell phone does the same thing that the Blackberry No, but does. you know what they love the Blackberry is? If you have a Blackberry, it's the best for email. And unless you use anything else. <laughs> no, it is. It's okay. better for email than any of the other stuff. You know why the BlackBerry has died? Why? Because they can get the same surface off of any cell phone or any tablet. They don't have to have a BlackBerry anymore. Which no, they anymore. don't. It means they don't have to walk around with a cell phone and a BlackBerry. Well, that's what a lot of the people are doing. Is they that has got to stop. But the people, the new people aren't, they said, uh, I have this BlackBerry that cost me like $125 a month. I have my iPhone that cost me $125 a month. Why do I need two? Why do I need two when the iPhone does exactly the same thing? And here's it. The new iPhone is coming out and it's going to be a disaster. Why? Because it works with nothing designed before and the people over oh, by no. Apple's... What They're going to throw a fit. Oh, God. I mean, it's not compatible with anything. You can't plug any. It's, it's smaller. It's pin system is different. What? Yeah. And it, when nothing, it is not come backwards compatible, which means you have oh, to buy no, everything. Oh no, they're going to throw a fit because that's throwing. that's the reason, especially for the accessories, is they to go with Apple because everything is backwards compatible and you utilize not the same. Not now. Oh no. It is not backwards compatible. You have to buy a whole new. Basically, Apple makes us money off of peripherals, not off the cell of the device. Where, uh, you know, so what happens is when they not, when it's not backwards compatible, you basically are going to kill your business. But that, remember, Steve Jobs is no longer in control. And police search of hotel registrars isn't illegal. Court rules. That's right. Uh, they, what, that's, why did they think it was illegal? Uh, oh, because they they think well, you're hunting for illegal aliens. Okay, to put it this way. As far back as I have you ever seen a western or ever seen a crime story where the police come in and can I see your you know they want to check to see who's in the hotel? Yeah. It's no, I've been doing it for so long, it's built into the system. I think you know, I could go back to the days of the Roman Emperor. Okay, can we see who's staying in this house of prostitution? Oh, Caesar's here, is that and well, and they used a lot of them didn't even use their real names. But, but they knew they yeah. you know like J C Julius Caesar, right? Or our M A Mark Anthony, or this Cleo. Yeah, that's why they paid in cash. Yeah. <laughs> and Sylvester Stallone demands respect for dead son. Well, they they uh, basically they're treating his son like uh, they you know, like the scandal magazine. They can't. Well, no like, one can see that he uh, that he didn't do anything but just die of natural causes at 36. That happens to people, folks. That does. Yeah, it does happen. It hits younger people more than it does older people, which is hard to believe. But younger people, for some reason, have a higher death rate when they're younger than when you get older. And Utah man uses obituary to confess indiscretions. I, yeah, because he's not dead. That was one of his main questions. I'm not I, dead. I, I, <laughs> yeah, that was the biggest one. <laughs> I actually didn't die. I just wanted to see how... They basically, the, what's his name? Um, Robert Duvall made a movie about a guy that wanted to see who would come to his funeral. Years <gasps> ago... Oh my gosh. This, this goes way back. This is standard motion pictures. I even saw Rod Sterling wrote a Twilight Zone. Oh, guy wanted to see how many relatives would come and the problem was... They all come and none of them were after money. They were just sorry the old guy had been an old fart all his life because they wanted to like him. And, and then he found out that everyone did want him. Everyone came to be spilled, you know, for him, and he didn't know what to do, so he went and killed himself. Oh, no. I know, isn't that something? Well, because, okay, see, here's part of it. Everybody comes to the funeral thinking in their due respects, and then it's like you're alive it's like you tricked them well so he just he basically walked off oh. where no one would ever find they didn't actually see him kill himself he just walked off over oh. the sunset and you assume that he killed him so because he heard a gunshot because he found out that his family actually loved him all of them the people he thought hated him then none of them came there for money you know they, they they're all yeah but, he <laughs> but he's got the bug building 
and he's listening to everything going on. You know, that we really liked the old guy. We didn't care about it, damn it. He said, well, I'm wealthy. I didn't need his money. So I just wish oh that he gosh. would have, you know, he basically like Ebenezer Scrooge. And CSU trustees, okay, presidents pay high. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's going nowhere, folks. You don't get pay hikes in the middle of a year. All the colleges going down the toilet. Oh, yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. That you, actually anymore, you cannot totally believe anything you read, hear, or see. Because look at what's going on uh, with the Batman thing. Because we, 